I think that gets at a use case I actually had for Atlas today, um, which was really interesting to me. Uh, I was looking at a GitHub repo and I was running through and I was like, I want to get a sense of what's in this GitHub repo really quickly. What if I just have Atlas look at it and I put the assistant up on the side and I just have a conversation with Atlas about the repo? And what I found was there was this sort of magic that happened when I was in Atlas because I was working with sort of that, uh, there's sort of a magic to code comprehension I'm finding with some of sort of the way chat GPT like touches and plays with code. It was able to like click through, take control of the screen, look at all of the different files in the repo. And it came up with some really, really thoughtful questions that enabled me to get much more finger tippy with the code much more quickly. It was one of those magic moments for me. So I think the browser, it's, it's so simple, it almost sounds silly, but like reducing the friction for a user to access some of this magic, it can feel like making the magic available, like in the first place.